here's how we avert a worsening climate crisis and build a renewable and fair society together and fast. It's not about changing light bulbs or expecting your elected officials to lead. It's about you taking action right now, where you have the most power, your very own community. We, the people, have to take down the fossil fuel industry if we want to replace it with renewable energy for all. The fossil fuel industry has spent decades creating and denying a climate crisis that is already affecting millions of us around the world. So how do we take down the most powerful industry in the history of the world? It's quite simple, actually, by building enough local people power. Fossil fuel companies only have the power that we are willing to give them. They are supported by our public institutions, giving them social acceptability through sponsorships and partnerships. Our very own investments, allowing them to expand into new fossil fuel projects that are completely unnecessary. Our politicians, allowing them to operate and pollute within our very own communities. But look what happens if enough people are pushing against those very pillars of support. What if communities all over the world stand up for themselves and say, no more fossil fuel projects, not here, not anywhere. If we pass local bans and organize ourselves to resist fossil fuel projects in our very communities, not a penny more for dirty energy. If our universities, museums, pension funds divest from fossil fuels and refuse their tainted sponsorships. Now imagine how much more quickly those pillars of support will fall if we are accelerating a just and fair transition to 100% renewable energy for all. If we're actively promoting the kind of community-controlled and just alternatives we want to see. Noon, hindi pa natin alam yung solar eh, kung hindi pa nagkaroon ng proyekto, nabubuksan dito yung power plant nga. Kung yung laki ng investment na ginagamit nila sa dirty energy, bakit hindi nila gamitin ngayon pa man dito sa Atimonan yung renewable? Mahirap sa pasimula yung ating campaign kasi ang mga tao sa atin, ang kultura ay yung passive o kaya indifferent. At lumabas pa nga na ang simbahan ay napaka anti-development. Na doon na yung kaisipan sa ka, na ibinigay sa kanila na magbibigay ito ng magandang mga programa para umulad ang bayan ng Atimonan. At uh, yun, lumabas tayo na kontrabida. Nung mga sumunod na buwan, ano, nung unti-unti nilang naunawaan yung ating uh, sinasabi sa kanila at yung pinaglalaban natin, yun na mismo din nagsasabi na, oh Father, kailan po yung next na uh, rally? Nung maano natin na yun pala coal fired power plant, ala, kung ano-ano mga ano na natin, gumawa na tayo ng action nun, di ba, parokya? Pag nakapag-empower ka pa ng ibang youth, parang nakakagana na lalo na gumawa ka ng move para, I mean, it's time to make a change. Concrete na ginawa natin, nagpaglagay tayo sa ating bubong ng solar panels. Kaya talaga, we have to walk the talk talaga yung ating ano. Kada sa kanyang humiliya, ipinapaliwanag niya ng mabuti kung ano yung magiging kabutihan nito, kung ano yung kasamaan nito, at ano yung magiging benepisyon nito para sa mga maninimba. Bakit po nagiging kasalanan sa Diyos yung pagsira natin sa kalikasan? Sapagkat yun ay ipinagkatiwala lang sa atin ng Diyos. Ito po'y hindi atin, ito po'y para sa mga batang ito. At wala tayong ginagawa sa ating mga nakikita, hindi tayo nagsasalita, ay di parang tayo ay nakikisama na din doon sa gumagawa ng kasalanan. Kung hindi natin makuha nga yung mga government agencies, yung funding mismo, yung ating uh, ma mapatigil. Oh, hindi rin kasi natin kayang mag-isa lang. Kailangan ng collaboration talaga from different uh, sex or Christian denominations. Lawak pa pala itong bubong natin, ano? Oo, oh, ang dami pa. Kaya kung siguro malalagyan natin ito ng napakalaking solar panel, baka kaya natin supplyan ang needs ng buong bayan.
the community of the city of Peruíbe, in the southeast coast of Brazil, has spent months mobilized against the installation of a 1.7 gigawatt gas-fired power plant, which would generate a lot of environmental and social damage. The fight resulted in the approval of an amendment to the law of the municipality, which prevents the installation of polluting and acid rain causing industries. Nós, né, nós da associação, a gente sempre falou, a gente não vai ser legal, não é uma coisa boa. Falam que vai trazer emprego, mas isso não é a verdade. A gente não vai ter essa oportunidade toda que eles estão apresentando. Então, vamos participar e vamos vestir a camisa, porque não vai ser legal, principalmente para nossa região, que onde a usina ia ser construída é bem próxima do nosso bairro. Então, para nós não ia ser muito legal. É, problemas respiratórios, a chuva ácida, sem contar a água, né? Que a gente ia ter grandes problemas com a água. Então, por esse motivo, a gente abraçou a casa. Então, na verdade, eu fui o primeiro vereador a me envolver nessa ação, até pelo momento em que começou a circular essa conversa na casa, e eu já me manifestei na tribuna totalmente contrário, justamente pelos princípios que me trouxeram à cidade que era a qualidade do ar, né? e toda a natureza onde eu vivo até hoje, que é o do Guaraú. E a gente teve uma votação bastante difícil, né? um calorosa assim, no início. E eu acredito que a, o envolvimento, de, de, não só da população, mas dos grupos, das pessoas que orientaram, né? foi de bastante importância para que a gente tivesse êxito de vitória. Há uma questão que a gente está aqui é, no entorno direto né, de unidades de conservação, tanto marinhas como continentais. Né? A gente está numa região que a gente tem um déficit de atendimento, de saneamento e também saúde muito grande. E nós, então, fizemos um laudo contrário ao empreendimento. A gente conseguiu trazer o benefício que a rede social traz para a sociedade. Você entendeu? Que é unir quem está longe, né? Então a gente fez essa união de diversas pessoas, de diversos ramos, diversos pensamentos, credos e tal. Né? Conseguimos fazer uma mobilização enorme que a gente acabou fazendo uma festa linda, que vai ser marcante, inesquecível, né? E que, que forma, de, uma, de certa forma, vai servir de exemplo para outras cidades que, que, que poderão lutar contra esse tipo de, de empreendimento. Ah, foi uma vitória bonita. Last night, the city of New York filed a lawsuit in federal court against five investor-owned fossil fuel companies most responsible for global warming. They are ExxonMobil, BP, ConocoPhillips, Shell, and Chevron. It's time for them to start paying for the damage they've done. The divest. New York campaign uh, began years ago. Uh, I remember personally leafletting in the streets of Midtown Manhattan in the summer of 2015. I think at first the divestment movement was very much, you know, climate organizations and climate groups um, coming together. We started ramping up a ton of events. Bill de Blasio. Scott Stringer. We had a huge, 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 like over 5,000 people came out to march um, for the fifth anniversary of Sandy. And I think that was emotionally powerful. I was home in bed -Stuy. I heard a cracking noise. I took my daughter out of her bed and the city caved in. I almost lost my daughter. You know, organizers like NYCC help us see that, you know, this is actually systemic and that my liberation really is bound up with yours. And then you start building power with your neighbors, with your communities. Bruce Climate! Our climate! Bruce Climate! Our climate! And so today we announce that the city of New York will divest from fossil fuel reserve owner companies. We, eight and a half million strong, will no longer participate in a system that endangers our very own people. Winning divestment certainly was a testament that 
the only sort of transformative change comes from grassroots, comes from the bottom, comes from the people. And this movement was the people saying, this is what we want, this is what we need, and you have to do it because we will vote you out if you don't. You know the story about David and Goliath? <laughs> mm -hmm. to, to win somebody that huge, it's like emotional. What you have been fighting for wasn't a losing battle. I want for her to know that we were fighting for her future. The lawmakers, they do have children too. So we're not only fighting for ourselves, but we are fighting for their children as well. This is really just the beginning, I think. We are waging a war on fossil fuel and we're coming for them and they know that and I think they're a little scared. We know from history social change only happens from the bottom up, when enough people take a stand together. Street by street, city by city, town by town, it's up to you and me to get involved. That's how the Fossil Free Campaign is going to end the age of fossil fuels and build a world that is powered by community-led renewable energy for all. But it starts with you, your neighbor, your town, your community our shared fossil-free future.